This exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Today we're going to take a little look at uh, rejuvenating a sign. This is a sh flashing chevron sign. We took these down. This is a 24 by 30. We took four of them down on a corner that we have where everybody crashes into a guardrail because they can't seem to go the advised speed that we advise around the corners. So a radar unit in the box picks up the cars approaching and it flashes around. Well it's on this one area in Napa, North Kelly Road and it's sees about 7,000 to 10,000 cars in a 24 hour period. And these Chevrons just weren't able to keep up anymore with the, with the demand of traffic that's been coming through. Uh, we never used to have that much. We installed these in 2015. So we upgraded, we have a bigger cabinet. It's got two big batteries in, like two big motorcycle batteries compared to just a little tiny battery that was in here. So now they ask me, can we use these somewhere else? Yeah, we can, but they're faded. And so instead of just tossing them and buying new ones, a new one would cost about $1,800 each, and we have four of them. As you, can, as you can see from a piece of sheeting that I have here, there is a big color difference. They're faded. They still meet reflectivity, but you know they're not going to last years out there. So if I put a new sign face on it, it's going to last a very long time. So... The problem is they, they have these lights on here. And so I thought, well, how can I do that? They're, they're impossible to remove. Once they're put in, they're, they're put in. They have a bunch of uh, wiring and lights on the back. This is dirty, it's been out in the field. I'm gonna clean it all up and everything. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna put something back out in the field that looks like that. So fortunately, we have people that can't drive their vehicles correctly and they crash into these things. We've replaced them before. So I saved one. I pulled all the lights out of it. Now it just has the holes where the lights go. Matches up perfect. So I got this idea. Why don't I just print some of these up and then cut the holes out and then put the new sign face on and virtually you have brand new signs. So I figured, so I figured, well, I'll just, you know, recover these, save the county some money. I figure that should save about, so over $7,000 by the time you figure, you know, you buy the signs 1800 a piece, shipping and all that stuff, well over $7,000. So let's get at it. All right, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print out four signs on the HP 365. Okay, all the information has been sent over to the printer. You can hear it start up, the fans are running. As soon as it gets up to operating temperature, it's going to take off and go. While it's, I'm printing, uh, which is a great feature of the 365, it's going to take a little while to print, um, versus where if I was cutting it out by hand, I'd have to be still working on the signs. Now I'm going to go out and take all four of those signs and I'm going to clean them up. So uh, stay tuned, there's more to come on this exciting episode. Okay, welcome back to my project. Uh, some time has passed since I started the video because I had to order a a tool. I'll show you what it is in a minute. Um, just to recap, I have these old chevrons. I upgraded the ones that were out in the field. So these are quite faded compared to the other ones. They're, you know, $1,700 a piece. So if we have four of them, you know, we're going to be spending quite a bit of money, almost seven, a little over $7,000. So I got this bright idea. I got an old one that somebody had damaged. So I took all the lights off, okay? And I made a template. I traced it out on a chevron that I already had made. And then I ordered a inch and a quarter punch. And I just Kapowski'd. Well, first I traced the, I put the overlay over the top, traced the holes. And then I use the punch to Kapowski the centers out. Ended up with that. It turned out pretty good. Then I'll show you what my plan is. So here's my old sign, the Chevron sign. And these things will work too, you know, left or right. These, this just happens to go left. And you can see there's quite a bit of difference 
in the uh, sheeting how it's faded. So these will just go right over the top and the holes line up pretty darn good. Um, have a little fudging to do, not much. And I'll recover the sign and then I'll trim around the edge. It'll be totally reconditioned. I'll show you how this will turn out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up this side real good. Okay, I'm gonna spray it down with some rapid prep. It'll get any grease off or anything like that, any bird doo-doo or anything like that. When I took these out of the field, I used my air compressor and I blew off all of the uh, all of the spider webs and such that was on it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this where I want it. You can kind of see the old image down below. Okay, I got a couple clamps and a piece of old uh, chloroplast. I'm going to put it over here to hold it in place. Uh, put the chloroplast there so I don't damage the uh, sheeting with any marks from my clamps. Obviously, I can't run this through my roller. So I just have to do the best I can. I do have a squeegee. Okay, I have to take the clamps off, flip it over. And we'll just do this side. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this up. All right, there we go. I think that turned out very well. It's all, looks like a brand new sign now. New sign face on it. Ready to go out in the field. So what happens when a car drives up to these things, there's a bang sign and it'll flash all these in a sequence going around the corner. Kind of bringing a little bit more attention to the driver that there's a curve coming up. We use these on a lot of places where we have a lot of accidents. For the people that just don't want to slow down. All right, well, there you have it. That old sign. Use the old sign blank. Traced it out, made a pattern. Got a hole punch to punch it out. Resheated the sign, looks like new. So, you know, the county had a little problem. They had an old sign, didn't know what to do. So who did they turn to? That's right, they turned to the sign man. As always, thanks for watching.